Okay, welcome back to the Second Hand Showcase, everybody. Coming at you from Super Super Soggy Shooter Supply in Southern Ohio. I'll get that right eventually. What we have here today is something that is pretty neat to me because I recognize that when I am really old, you will no longer see these. And those of you that are really old now will remember when you used to see this kind of stuff everywhere. This is a, a German Mauser, uh, you know, bolt action. This is the actual receiver. This, so it's the receiver tube and the bolt with the, uh, the, the, you know, the magazine and trigger group. So this is, this is a firearm. And this one is non-matching and actually it looks like it had a little bit of, of history. So let's see if we can find, let's see what we got here. So as far as matching is concerned, it, on the, uh, the top of the receiver ring, it has BYF-43. Um, it is an older, at least, bolt because it's a straight bolt. Um, it says Model 98 on the, uh, side, of the uh, side of the receiver. And um, it, does have, uh, it does have some markings on it that have been attempted to be obliterated probably post-war. So up here at the front of the receiver ring, you can see where there was a uh, German, you know, was it Nazi Eagle, and somebody or some factory has taken a, taken a tool and tried to obliterate that. But, but if you uh, look around the gun, you'll find other uh, markings that are definitely from, from uh, that time period. There is a marking on the magazine follower, and let me see here, what else was there? There is a marking on the bottom metal, uh, the, uh, the, the magazine floor plate. What's matching and what's non-matching. So the, the receiver ends, let's see the last two digits, end in three seven, well, end in three seven. And then we have here in the trigger group, uh, well, I guess we're the, up in the action, there's a 37 that matches that. And then also the uh, right here on the bolt release, there is a 37 on that. And then going from there, we have, there is a 38 on the uh, magazine follower and the bottom metal with the marking ends in 38. So this is, you know, this is post-war. I don't know if it was put together in, parts say by Germany when they were having a hard time you know towards the end of the war logistically or whether post-war say um, you know uh, a factory um, afterwards you know just assembled different parts those of you that might be interested here is the uh, the uh, the bolt face now this gun is um, it's loaded with uh, packing grease because it's been it's been in Greece for probably since I would imagine World War II um, this is, a, uh, you know, there was a time when if you wanted to have a custom rifle or semi-custom rifle, you would just take an old um, German bolt action and uh, have something built up from that. So, but what's happened is this kind of stuff, it's so expensive to make it anymore and the, the, the stocks have dried up, they've become more valuable on their own. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is worth a significant amount of money, it's not, because I know what they have it priced for. But it's something that in my lifetime, you probably won't be able to find this. So if you have some parts to uh, a, you know, to maybe a complete rifle that you would like to finish assembling and you need a receiver, or maybe you have a project and you always wanted to have a, a Mauser action, this is something to definitely consider. It's actually, I've seen it in here for about a month and I've been thinking about it myself. Actually, for those of you that have made it this far into the video, the shop has two receivers in stock. It's got this Mauser made, Mauser marked BYF-43 with a older straight bolt, and then it has a Producci, was that Czech or uh, Yugoslavia or Czechoslovakian or, you know, Mauser action, it has a turn bolt down on it. But this one has all the cool markings with, you know, some of the, World War II stuff that some of you might be more interested in. So if uh, this is something that interests you 
you can contact the dealer directly. That would be Shooter Supply in Southern Ohio. Uh, you can always call them on the phone. Or if you would like to use um, our internet email system, go to our website, john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. And uh, there'll be a link there, uh, you know, in the uh, description. So remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.